Hey Internet, Felix here. I hope you had a superb day. Thank you again for now over 100 subscribers already and welcome to every new subscriber now. I've got some questions of you which I want to answer right now here in this video. Let's not talk much around it and start with the first question. The first question comes from Travel with Nadalina. She asked me, how long does it take to upload your videos? I guess you mean the whole process of making a video, not only uploading it, right? So let me start with the video idea first. Some videos actually don't need much planning ahead, like Felix Reacts, for example, or my photography slideshows. But every other video category that I have on my channel needs some planning ahead before I actually go shoot it. Then I'm ready for some CEO optimization to make you guys find my stuff, which takes me around 20 minutes. After I've got my CEO done, I'm planning on my script, so don't forget anything and to make it also easier for the actual shoot. This usually takes me up to 40 minutes and if I'm working on a cinematic video, actually up to one hour. The setup of my equipment again takes around 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm ready for the actual shoot. For the recording of the video, I need around about one hour. After that, I will send all the raw files to my laptop and start editing on it, which takes around one hour. For cinematic videos, it can even take up to two hours because of the variety of color grading, sound design and so on. After that, a quick thumbnail edit, which takes me around 10 minutes and then I'm ready for the actual upload. The upload takes me around 10 to 15 minutes and then I fill in the details and information to the video, which takes again around five more minutes. And that's it. All in all, you could say I need around three and a half hours from, for every video from start to finish. The next question comes from 57 Productions. What camera are you using and what are the settings? I use the EOS Canon 90D, which you also can see right now, the quality of this camera. And as my secondary camera, I use the GoPro Hero 8 Black which I use for drone shots or also on my photography slideshow as the second camera, which shows you the video of the taking of the pictures. My settings are mostly the same for the regular videos, which you see. But for the video which you commented it on was uh, the first Felix reacts. And in this video, I shoot it in 4K and 30 FPS. And then I crop it down to 1080p, which makes it look more crisp. Like, the, like what you said. Additional to that, I had a soft box on my left pointing towards me, which was shining up my face a little bit more and made it a higher definition. Where do you get your music from? I get my music from Epidemic Sound, which offer a great value of tracks, so much choice and very easy to use and easy to download. What do you do for backup storage? I have my main one terabyte storage which I use for my next videos, for the edits of my next videos. And then I have two more extra hard drives, each also one terabyte for my finished projects to store them. While I'm also working on a video, I have it still on my SD card just for safety as long as I haven't uploaded it yet. How do you manage your footage? I have my own folder system on my main hard drive, which lets me organize all my footages, which I need for my edits. It's actually nothing special. It's just some kind of system, which I adapted to myself for my own workflow. The next questions come from Felicia Travels. What gear do you use? Okay, let me start with the cameras first. I use my EOS Canon 90D for my main shots and main pictures, as I said before. Then I have my secondary camera, which is the Panasonic Lumix FZ300. And this is also the camera which I shot my two Philippine videos with. My other two secondary cameras, which I use for drone shots or action shots, are my GoPro Hero 8 Black and my GoPro Hero 4 Black. I also own a regular GoPro Hero, but I killed it in the last Philippine vacation while I got some underwater shots. I guess something leaked. Then I have my three hard drives, my laptop for editing, my four lights, two with a softbox and two without for more harsh lighting situation. 
I've got my microphone with a pop filter, my little on-the-go microphone for my DSLR camera. I've got a green screen with a stand for it. Then there is my box of GoPro equipment, how I call it, which contains a GoPro dome for underwater shots, half underwater, half above water. Then I have some tripods in it, some screws for the GoPro, some casual GoPro equipment. Then there is my camera bag with lenses and filters for all different kinds of situations. And I think that's all. What are your favorite places in the Philippines? I mean, there are so many amazing places in the Philippines and so many more which I haven't even seen yet. But from what I've seen, I can give you my top three places there. Number three would be the Cebu Kawasan Falls, which has this beautiful chalk fresh blue water and the hike to the actual waterfall was also very amazing. Then I would say for my second place, I would take the Sukpa Lagoon on the Shagao Islands, which really look like paradise on earth and I think everyone has to see it at least once in a lifetime. And my number one favorite place there is Takbirayan on Dinagat Islands, which is also the native island of my wife where she was born. I have many many friends there and I think that's what makes it my top favorite place in the Philippines. Not only because of the dreamlike beaches and nature there. What is the thing that shocked you the most in the Philippines? Well, the thing that shocked me the most there is to see how happy, how incredibly happy these people are. Well, don't get me wrong, it shocked me in a, in a very good way. Many people there have nothing to eat and really fight every single day for their own survival, but if they if they, get, if they get the chance to give you their last shirt, then they would do that, they would give you that. I mean, we people in our Western civilization, we, we need to get our greedy minds right and we can learn a lot from them. It shocks me still to this day to see how amazing these people are. Well, it started raining here, but I'm at least in a dry place, so let's continue this. Next question is from Adarsh first. What is your biggest goal in life? That's a very tough question, my friend. I would say my biggest goal is to have healthy children in the future and to raise them to be able to think ahead. And of course, to be the best husband and father to both my children and my wife. Does that sound cheesy? The last question comes from Technology Master. Why did you make your channel? Well, I had a magic channel before and even before that I had a channel which I dedicated to video games. All of them were more like a hobby to me and just for fun. But this channel is kind of different. I want to use my skills to improve your work. Of course, I also want to improve my own skills on YouTube because you never stop improving and learning. And I think as everyone on YouTube, I want to make a name on YouTube and make maybe a living out of it in the future. That is why I made this channel you see right now. Thank you for all your questions which you submitted to make this video possible. I hope I made it all clear and that you are satisfied with my answers. Thank you again for over 100 subscribers now and I hope you enjoyed the trip. See you again in the next video. So let's go for 250 now.